the Vickers family, and this is uh, one thing that Ralph can take solace in, the Vickers family is vanishing. Uh, Vickers has randomly, spontaneously closed down all of his internet presence. He is apparently moving the Rockland coin shop from a physical location in Rockland, California, to a virtual-only presence. And um, he, he's gone, basically. Vickers has disappeared. Years and years ago, um, when Faith first abandoned her family to go live with Ralph on the other side of the country, Vickers joined the Kiwi Farms. And um, I told him straight up that his, like, I'm because he had a very punitive approach to dealing with Faith. He shut off her phone. He threatened her. He basically said that she was going to um, do everything he said or she would be like removed from the family she you know so on and so forth and when that happened i um i told him on the forum you can go look this up if you have the time if you're really that interested and i said all you're doing is pushing her away further this is a failed tactic um she's in the clutches of a man bear pig monster in virginia um and your threats don't work you you by disconnecting her phone all you're doing is making her further rely on Ethan Ralph for things that she needs. What are you doing? And he shoots back and he says, boy, I'm the father of like 10 kids. And I know a little bit about fathering more than you do. So you can just hush up and I'm going to do my own thing. And he like immediately started like buddying up with like retarded faggots like Kinoche and trying to to avoid posting on the kiwi farms because i made fun of him for being a retard and the end result of him failing as a father was that he her his daughter fled the entire country like the, like three thousand miles to virginia to the clutches of a fat retard she had a mental breakdown became impregnated and had pornography of her released against her will to the public and this all could have been avoided if he had taken a less retarded approach to dealing with her, I believe. Um, then, after eating the biggest L ever, having his genetic lineage permanently and inseparably conjoined with Ethan Ralph's forever and ever in a way that he has to bear some responsibility for her because she is a single mother, um, he f continued to try and fuck with Ralph on social media through a series of social media posts and by maintaining tacit relationships with people like Kinoche, who are the biggest fucking losers around feeding him information so that he could post it online and take credit for it. Um, just so he could avoid the Kiwi farms, even though he wanted it on the Kiwi farms, he would just do this in a roundabout retarded way. That's like the most petty asinine retarded fucking thing you could possibly imagine. Um, after years of this, he finally decides randomly for no reason that I can see as opposed to in, at any other point in time, just randomly decided, yeah, this is a bad idea. And he decided to like close all this shit and move. So I don't know. Maybe he'll, um, maybe he'll come back. Maybe this is just like a gambit a 9,000 IQ chess play. Like the ones Ralph does. Uh, but I have no idea why he just didn't do this at literally any other point in time in the last like three years. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this fucking podcast. He tried to make a podcast called The Good, The Bad, and The Vi the Vicious so he could call himself Vicious Vickers. That's one of the most, like, it's insane how much Vickers is like Ralph because Ralph had the Rad Roberts persona, and then Vickers had the Vicious Vickers persona. And he thought, yeah, I'm just going to make a podcast and be better than Ralph. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a podcast about how my daughter fled from me and got impregnated by a pig monster. Now I take care of it. I'm going to make a podcast about that. That's a great idea. What a fucking imbecile. Uh, <clears throat> also on the Ralph Dup L, though, I don't know why Gabe Hoffman does this. I assume that this is like a fair use thing where he just uses his camera to record things. Um, but Gabe Hoffman wanted to laugh at the fact that Ralph, again, closed his stream in a very sad voice uh, after not meeting his goal um, or even half his goal for five and a half hours on stream. This is Gabe Hoffman's uh, personal satisfaction. 
from what I understand, he watches Ralph streams just so that he can see Ralph not make his goal and then uh, quietly sign off saying, maybe next time I'll hit my goal. Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Saturday, we'll set up some type of goal system or whatever for the dinosaur stream. Maybe I'll do that on Saturday <clears throat> or Sunday. We'll see him. One time next, one day next weekend. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to do some work on the show. Tonight I'm going to go fix me something to eat and probably just go to bed early. Get up really early tomorrow. I got to clean up the studio a little bit. There's a bunch of water bottles over here. Water bottles, huh? Are they full of anything? Are they full of water, Ralph? Why do you have all these bottles around your desk when you do five and a half hour long streams? I wonder why. A couple yogurt containers. Doesn't look like asthma gold shit, but there's a couple cigarette packs that are empty and shit like that. So I'll pick up around here some. Chain smokes litter. Bones no litter and Cleo's too. Do a few chores because I don't, I have to do all that stuff myself now. And uh, that's what I'll do. What happened to Boneface? Yeah, he. you're welcome, Mary Jane. He's still around. Uh, I think he thinks uh, I don't like him now or something, but I could check back in with him. I don't think it's a downside. Somebody told me I shouldn't, but I don't know. I think I just, I, I like that idea of just bringing as many people in as possible. So we'll see. Um, there's something else I was going to say, but yeah, I got to do a few chores around here and not anything too major, but, uh, I'll do that. Thank you, James Gardner. Yeah, it's over. I'm just going to play the songs. Sad. Cleaning up his empty food containers, piss bottles, and changing kitty litter in an avocado house in the middle of Mexico making $100 for a full day's work. Now, why does Ralph sound so fruity in this clip? I don't know. He's he's not doing his tough guy voice where he's like screaming. He's just like, yeah, guys, I guess I'll just um, sweep it up. I guess I'll just run on over to the, the sink and empty out these pee jugs into it. Might get the pooper scooper out and clean up a couple Cleo turds up in that cap box. Keep it nice and fresh for him. Maybe we'll make the goal tomorrow, chat. I've got to put in some more work, try and get my show back together. I'll just play the outro song. See you later. Bye. Oh, how it ends with a whimper, chat. Not with a bang. Maybe with a bang. But for right now, just uh, yogurt bottles. Turds chat. Such is life. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.